everyone. Today I wanted to do a bronzed makeup tutorial for you. So if you like this look, please keep watching. To start off with, I'll be filling in my eyebrows with Mystery, which is a satin finish eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. And this is the way I always do my eyebrows. Next, I'll be filling in my eyelid with Orb, which is also a satin finish eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics. In the corner of my eyelids, I'm going to be using the colour Precious Metals number 2 by Elizabeth Arden from the Beautiful Colour Eyeshadow Duo. And I'll just be blending this out after I've applied it so that I don't have any harsh lines. And if I feel that I need more of the colour, then I'll apply some more and then blend it out again. Under the arch of my eyebrow, I will be applying MAC Shroom, which is a great highlighting colour for under your eyebrow. In the crease of my eye, I'm using a coppery colour from a Justine eyeshadow palette that I have. Unfortunately, I've worn off the bottom of it, so I can't tell you the colour of the copper, but any copper will do. I think it's great. It's also great for people with blue eyes because it makes your eyes look even bluer. To open your eyes even more, I've taken that MAC Shroom colour and put it on the inside corner of my eyes. And this always opens up my eye, it makes me look fresher, it makes me look more awake and also it increases the colour of your eye. Today I'm using Sorbet's BB Cream in the colour or the shade Light. And I'm liking this one because it's got SPF 15. so. Even though I use SPF every single day, um, this gives me more coverage and protection from the sun. This BB cream lasts me all day and it doesn't have a finish that is too shiny, which I love. Because I don't want to look like a greasy monster by the end of the day. I'm applying this with my favorite foundation brush and that is the Sigma F80 Kabuki Flat Brush. And I'm just applying it in short motions all around starting from my jaw down to my neck and then upwards and then I also like to be careful around my nose area and just to fix any redness that I generally have in my skin. To contour my face, I'm using Illuminating Bronzing Powder by Bobbi Brown in the shade Bahamas and I love the shade, I use it whenever I'm contouring. I simply draw a line from the middle of my ear down towards my lip and it might seem thick at first but I blend it all out and that's what's important. Once I've blended out my contour, I just dab my blending brush into the Bahama shade and then I'll just dust it all over my forehead and making sure that I blend it out, we don't want any harsh lines. So up to the temples along my hairline and make sure that everything's even. I'm 
filling in underneath my bottom lashes with that same coppery color so feel free to use whichever coppery color that you're using once I've applied it I just take a pencil brush and blend it all out here I'm just lining my waterline with a champagne color by LA Girl it's really pretty and I like how this also opens up my eyes for liquid liner I am using Essence liquid ink eyeliner and as you can see I'm just giving myself a little bit of a wing it's not too harsh and it's not too dramatic so it's perfect for the daytime With this big fluffy blending brush of mine, I'm using the Bronze Glow palette from Revlon that I mentioned in my last video. I thought this was a great way to incorporate some bronze into this bronze makeup tutorial and I think it's really pretty. Another Essence product that I'm using is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. And this color is number 60, Life's a Cherry. To fix my two horrible blemishes, I'm just using Almay's concealer in the shade light. For mascara, I'm using Charlie by Revlon's. Turn up the volume from large to XXL. I'm not a huge fan of this. I prefer the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, but I'm out, so this one's gonna have to do. To line my lips, I'm using Pout Defines and Shapes pencil in a pretty rose color. It doesn't actually say which color it is, but any rose color will do. For my lips I'm using L'Oreal's Color Rich lipstick in the color Tickled Pink. To finish off, I'm using my favorite MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, just for a little bit of extra glow. And we are done! If you liked this makeup tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Bye!